part of the training you did at the uh, SciTech or City and Guilds, you would have done an M check. So basically, it's like a shape of an M. So you start at the beginning of the bike and just check, just do a pre-check. So all I'm going to do first is um, just spin the wheel, make sure it's true, try the brake, give the wheel a wobble, make sure the uh, quick release is tight, apply the front brake and just see if there's any um, play in the headset, give the headset a, a wobble and I can feel those bearings are dry in there. Also I just did notice earlier cables here are all cracking. Um, and then we move down to the, uh, the bottom bracket. Basically just give that a wobble and that is loose in there and then we come up to the saddle just give that a wobble make sure that's all tight apply the back brake spin the wheel that's nice and true um, check both tyres for cracking and perishing any cuts then another thing I like to do is, is pulling the chain off there and just giving the bottom bracket a spin and then you can feel the bearings. But what we do now, we stick it in the stand and um, take the back wheel out and feel the, feel the axles and inspect the brake pads. Okay, for further inspection we've now got the bicycle to the work stand. We're using the handlebar holder here to stop the... Uh, So we've got the, uh, the dummy cassette so we can uh, do the cleaning and inspection uh, and now we've got the wheel out we can actually inspect the brake pads and see they've, uh, they've worn down and they've actually worn uneven and now we've got the wheel out we can actually literally feel the axle, feel the free hub body and we can put it straight into the uh, touring jig. And give it a true if necessary. What we're going to do now is check the, uh, the chain for wear. So we've got two readings on here 0 0.5, 0 0.75. So if, if the chain is so worn it's more than 0 0.75, it will require a chain and a cassette. So all we do is just drop that in. Yeah, that's dropping in there and very loose, very worn that one. So we're going to recommend the chain and a cassette. Also, we need to take the, the bottom bracket out and investigate why this is loose. And we can also inspect the, the teeth on the chain ring at the same time. Try the pedals and look to see if there's any other problems, check if the frame's got any cracks. We may need to give it a, a clean as well. And also we can closely inspect the, the tyres for any cuts and wear in the tyres and damage on the rims. Okay then so we're going to investigate the um, the bearings in the headset so uh, it's the preload 5mm on the top and the two lock bolts so if we undo these first one a little bit at a time Sort of undo them evenly so the forks won't drop out because um, it's being held with the preload. So it's just loosening them off. Yeah, don't have to take them right out, but uh, okay and then I'll hold the forks at the bottom we've took the, um, the caliper off so the forks can drop straight out that probably rusty as well <laughs> um, we just get a, a little screwdriver and just see if uh, you can just clean clean a bit out, out of there and a bit of the old spray and then we'll wipe that off. Yeah. 
and then you you might just have to force that uh, not force it but uh, get it in there as far as you can so it's got a good fit So I would imagine <laughs> there's a little bit of corrosion, that's why it hasn't dropped down. So if you might just have to hold the forks and turn the stem and then just sort of lift that up. And then the, the, there looks like a little bit of corrosion. Yeah, you can see uh, this, this bicycle's been left at the train station. And also sweat from a, a rider can do this as well. Okay, so then uh, if we can just pull the bearings out the top, they're probably corroded in there. And then yeah, this, and then just um, if you can spin them. Yeah, that's rough. <laughs> so we're it's going to need two bearings and the one out the bottom as well should come out and then just fill those. Yeah, they look like a pair, so we we can measure those. Okay, that's uh, 31.8, and then we just got some bearings out the van, and we just check they are the correct ones. Yeah, they look, uh, and then we just check the uh, the angles on these as well. Um, what we can do also as well, if they're clean enough, we can actually clean these up, and there should be a measurement on the side, but not always visible. Okay, so this design, we just crack the nut off. That was quite loose. And then it get, will go tight because the, the, the bolt has a little chamfer on it and it pushes against this lock ring and it actually extracts, extracts the, the arm off. There you go, and the wavy washer. So what I'm going to do is take the The axle out. completely out. Drop the chain off, and then we just inspect the, the feel of the bearings, clean and re-grease. But I think it's probably going to need another wavy washer on there. We're just going to put a bit of degreaser on the chain ring if it comes out. this a scrub then we can uh, inspect the teeth for wear and any um, burring on the teeth as well especially on the inside because a lot of people use the bigger ring and the bigger one on the back and the angle of the chain can put a burr on these but these look okay but you can see the bigger one has been used a lot more than the inner one just give 
the biker cleaned out while we got the back wheel out. And we can inspect everything. We just put a smear of um, multi grease. And then we got the wavy washer back on the axle. Then just make sure you got your arms opposite the drive side. Just start that. And then we'll just see if we need another wavy washer on here. So this goes up to, um, ooh, doesn't say how many newton meters. So the best way is just hold them. That's it. That's took the play out, so it was loose. Wipe the cups. And on the fork, so uh, these forks, uh, I'll give these a clean while we got them off. bike wash on the whole bike and uh, so here multi grease again and we're just literally putting a smear this also stops the uh, the bearing actually corroding into the the frame and sticking on <laughs> and clean top hat so we just push the forks back up One spacer. Three. Stem. Just put um, a little bit of grease on the thread. The star bosher, stick him in. Get the right in in line, and then we just pre-load that with the five mil Allen key.
and then what we do, we get the wheel back in and uh, we can check the preload and, uh, and the alignment of the stem once that's on the ground. Okay, 